Good morning. Today we're going to talk about coding and decoding encryption. And uh, so I have some files created here. It's important to note that all these files have to be inside of a inside of the same directory. And if they're not, then you need to uh, within your code uh, tell the the code where the directories are located. So for simplicity, I just have them all in the same directory called encrypt decrypt underscore v2. I have these five files, and I'll just go through them real quick, uh, quickly here. So the clear text, uh, I have uh, some text. I just put, I'm Professor Chapa. You can write whatever you want to in there. And in the, um, the decrypt uh, Python file, I have uh, just some starter code here, uh, some, uh, but uh, nothing else, because we're going to go through all of this. And I have the encrypt uh, Python file, also with some starter code. Nothing else is in there. And in the in, um, in the other uh, two text files, I have uh, nothing in the encrypt.txt. Um, and this is this uh, this um, text file here is going to be where we put the encrypted text once we encrypt it. And then the decrypted text file is where we're going to decrypt our text. So at the end of the day, the decrypted text file will be the same as the clear text file here. Okay, so you need to have these files and uh, we'll get started. So the first file we're going to work with, uh, obviously you need to have something in the clear text, which I've already done that. So we have, uh, in my case, I am Professor Chapa in the clear text. I'm going to go ahead and close that because we're done with this. And the next thing we're going to do is we need the encrypted file. So this is where we're going to be working uh, now. And I'll go ahead and, and set this up in here. My. Okay. And the next thing we need to do is I, I want to explain the code so far. So this is our inputs. And we have these variables, one called clear text file. And it's being assigned to the... Uh, to where the clear text that had the uh, the text that we're going to encrypt was located. So it has clear.text. Again, if this file is in a different directory, then you need to put, that's where you would put it right here. Uh, you would put uh, your the directory here. But since it's in the same directory as all the other files, you can just list the file name. Um, now, I um, in some of the assignments, it's going to ask you to input where the text file is located. And that's why I commented this out. So um, you could write this, and this is how uh, many assignments are done. It would be like this, input, enter the input clear text file. In this situation, the user is going to have to input the name of the text file. Um, what I find is easiest to do is to go ahead and write this code if this is what you want to do as far as you want the user to input the text file. But then I immediately... Uh, comment it out and uh, and that way as you debug and you write your code you don't have to keep typing in where these files are located you can simply just uh, debug and hit F5 and rerun your code once you once it's done and everything works then you can just cut this out and leave your uh, your input statement here okay so the next one is the encrypt text file this one here is where we're going to once we've taken the clear text encrypted it we're going to then send it to the encrypt uh, text file. And so we're just going to write to that file. That's what this is all about. Okay, and then distance. This is a very, very simple cipher. What we're going to do here is we're going to simply move um, the uh, character five, uh, five places to the right on the ASCII table. And so as you know, the ASCII table, we're going to have the equivalence of, uh, of letters to integers to whole integers, well, integers are, is a whole number, and uh, and we're going to shift to the right by five. So a very, very simple cipher, nothing complex going on here. Okay, so um, once, we, once we've done that, uh, basically you can ask the user, so if we were doing this again, we could, we, could, we could cut this out, and here the user would enter the distance value, so the, so the user can actually say, okay, this is going to be our distance value, whatever it is, five, 10, 27, whatever, doesn't really matter. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to need to uh, we're going to need to open the text file and read. 
These next two lines of code that I just put here are open clear text file and read. So I called mine in clear text file and it's going to open the clear text file that we listed right here. And we use the R uh, property because that means it's going to read. So we're going to read the clear text file, which is clear text. And, uh, and so we're going to open it and we're going to be reading. Next, we're going to say, okay, clear text, which is, uh, the, we're going to have a new uh, variable called clear text. <clears throat> and the clear text is going to be set to the in clear text file. So this right here, dot read. So here we're giving the property read, we're opening the file, and here we're actually reading the file and we're setting that content to the clear text variable. So next, I have opened up the encrypted text file and we're going to write to the encrypted code. So here we're saying out encrypt text file, we're going to open the, the encrypt text file and, uh, and here we're going, which is the encrypt text, which is this one right here, which is empty. And we're going to we're going to use the W property, which means we're going to write. So we're going to write to the encrypt text file. So we're we're reading from the clear text file uh, here, and then here we're going to write to it. And uh, that's what we we have so far. Next, um, I went ahead and created the code variable. So this is going to be where we actually set the uh, the encrypted uh, text, and I just called it code. And I went ahead and wrote the block of code. It's actually going to do the encryption. So here we're going to, I'm going to explain each line of code. So we have our for loop, and in the for loop, we're going, the ch just means a character. Now, the ch is not a reserved keyword. This literally could be anything. It could be i, it could be c, it could be whatever you want to name it, so long as it's not a reserved keyword. So for every character in the clear text, what was actually read up in here, we're going to. We're going to look at the ORD value. And so the ORD value, remember this is our function that actually returns the integer for a character in the ASCII key. So we're going, the ORD function returns whatever, so, so as we go through the clear text and we, and we, we uh, iterate through every character, the character, which is, re remember the character is going to be a single character. So A, B, C, just one character, not the whole, not more than one character, single character. And that single character is going to go through the ORD function and return an integer. That integer is going to be assigned to the ORD value. Next, we take the cipher value. The cipher value is going to equal the ORD value plus the distance. Now, the distance, uh, the user set the distance up above to 5. So our cipher value is equal to the ORD value, whatever integer is returned for the, that's the equivalent of the letter. And we're adding the distance, so 5. And therefore, we have now encrypted that, that, that value. Okay. So in the next line here in the if, the if cipher value is greater than 127, this is just handling any, um, any values that are greater than 127 on the, uh, because we're, the ASCII uh, uh, key set is only dealing with 127 characters. So after that, we have to do some other things. But really, our code will work without this at all. I just have it in here because uh, if, some weird case where we're going to enter something over above 127. So we, we don't really do this. Okay. So again, this part right here, um, our encryption of, of regular uh, letters, the regular alphanumeric set will work um, without this, these two lines of code. Okay. So next we have our code. Now our code was right here where we declared code and it's just an empty string up here. Here code is now going to equal it's so we can concatenate each character that was encoded. So, for example, remember that the plus equal sign is the same as code equals code plus whatever the new uh, uh, whatever the new value that was decoded. So, this line right here concatenates the different encrypted values, so we can output a single encrypted text. Okay, next. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to put a couple more lines of code. Okay, so now right here I've out I've done the out encrypted text file dot write, and out encrypted text file of course is going to be uh, what the it's it's from right here where we opened up the uh, the output where we're gonna we're gonna use the write property, and so we took this and now we're saying okay let's write now and what are we gonna write we're gonna write the code the concatenated code that we calculated right up in here. 
And then of course we need to close that file. And then just so that the user has some feedback, we're gonna say uh, the encryption was is complete. So we're done. All right, so that's it. This will take the file, we'll read it, we'll read the text, uh, and we will encrypt it by whatever distance the user entered. I hard-coded these values, so we have clear.txt for the input, the encrypt.txt for the output, and the distance value is five. And so this code will now is now functional and should run. Okay, so right now in our, in our uh, encrypted text, we have nothing. So if we run this, that should change. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and hit uh, F5. Oops. Mm -hmm. And we get our, our uh, statement saying that the encryption is complete. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the file. Okay, so when I take a look at the encrypt.txt, we have our newly encrypted text. So this is now, um, it is now the statement that we had in the clear text has now been encrypted to this, to this, uh, these characters. So we can close this up now. And now we need to write our decryption code. So we're going to do that next. Now we have our decrypt uh, shell up. We're going to have, uh, um, this time calling code the encrypted text because it's encrypted. And we're going, to, we're going to go to that encrypted text that we encrypted that I just showed you not long ago. Again, I have the input commented out where we could say where the text file was and we could have the user enter the distance value. But I'm going to hard code these so we can, uh, like I said, it's simpler to do this while you're writing your code. Once it's functional, then you just put the, un the uncommon this stuff. And that, that's really it. So uh, the, the only other thing here is the decode is the file that's empty right now where we're going to decode, um, where we're going to send our decrypted code. So, so decrypted text will be the same as the, uh, as the input was, the clear text file. Okay, so uh, we write some code. So this is very similar to the last one. Um, all we're doing here is we're saying we're going to open code, which is the encrypted file. We're going to read, so we're using the R property, we're going to read that file, and we're going to assign that to this variable. And then we're going to say, okay, clear text. The, the uh, is going to be set to the in clear encrypted file dot read. So we're going to read the file. That's really it. That's all that's going on here. Now we're going to focus on the decode side. So there's a for loop here, and just like the last time, we have uh, for every character in clear text, which is the the the, uh, the data that was read in. Uh, we're going to read that one character at a time. Remember, the ORD is you were only passing in a single character at a time. So each character is going to be set to the ORD value, whatever that integer is. And then we're going to use our distance value, which was the five that we put up here. And this has to be set to the same thing that, uh, the same number that we used for, for the encryption when we encrypted. Otherwise, it, it won't have any meaning. This is, we're going, we're doing the reverse now. We're, now we're decrypting. So the cipher value is equal to the ORD value minus the distance value. Before it was plus the distance value. This time we're subtracting the distance value, so that way we can get back to the original value of the ORD value. Um, again, we have this part here. This is not necessary for your A through Z uh, letters. Um, like, again, like I said, we could, we could remove this and uh, it would work just fine. Okay. So the next thing is we have our plain text, and here we're just concatenating as we decode it right here. We're going to de we're going to concatenate the plain text, and we're saying okay now we're going to use the chr function, which is going to take each integer value, and ret and uh, return the letter value, the alpha value, so that we can have our uh, our our actual clear text information, and so that's what's going on there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to print it to the console and also write to the output file. So we have the print plain text. This is going to print the plain text as it was de uh, that was decrypted. It's going to print it to the console so that we can view what was there. And now we output the the decrypted the decrypted text to the output file and and write it. So here we're going to say okay the output file is equal to the open decode and we're using the write property this time. So decode is back up here, this variable that's, that uh, is set to the decrypted text file that was empty. 
So now we're saying, okay, let's write the uh, the plain text to this uh, to this decrypted text file, and then of course close the file. So that's what's going on right here, and that's it. It's really uh, pretty simple. There's this is a very simple encryption. It, it uh, just shows you a good example of how to use your for loops, your if loops, a small condition, your concatenation, using the or and char uh, values for going to uh, for taking a letter and turning it into an integer, and then uh, reversing that integer and returning it to a letter. So I mean, it's it's a good little example for doing this kind of thing. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So I ran it and it successfully decoded uh, our, our, our encrypted message. So if you remember the encrypted text, uh, it looked like this and it took this and returned this. That's what happened here. Okay, so the next thing that we should we can do is now we can actually look at our output file and make sure it, that it wrote to that. So I'm going to open up the decrypted text file and there it is, decrypted text. I am, and it has the uh, the, the uh, clear text. So this worked. And this is how it, how we do it. Um, very very simple a little encryption and decryption. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I I think I explained it well. Uh, that was all. Have a wonderful day.